We turn to Pakistan now, where political temperatures are rising, courtesy a no-confidence motion. Ten days back, Pakistan's opposition tabled this motion with little support, we told you about it. Ten days on, their chances of success are way better, and I'll tell you why. At least 24 lawmakers from the ruling party, Prime Minister Imran Khan's party, are leaving him. They've threatened to vote against the Prime Minister, 24. The list includes Jahangir Tareen, former Secretary General of the PTI, mm -hmm. Raja Riaz, a former Parliamentary Secretary of the PTI, Wajiha Kamar, a current Parliamentary Secretary in the PTI, Noor Alam Khan, a former advisor to Imran Khan, and Basit Bukhari, a member of Pakistan's National Assembly. All of these lawmakers, among, along with others, have threatened to vote against Imran Khan. They're currently lodged at a resort in Islamabad, the palatial Sindh House. What are they doing there? Saving themselves from the government action, from government action, we are told. They say that their party has declared them traitors and that their lives are under threat. सुप्रीम कोर्ट ऑफ पाकिस्तान चीफ जस्टिस से मैं इस्लामाबाद हाई कोर्ट के चीफ जस्टिस से मैं चीफ इलेक्शन कमिश्नर से और मैं यहाँ के इंतजामिया से कि हर एक को चाहे वो हुकूमत के हक में हो चाहे मुखालिफत में हो चाहे वो वोट डाले नहीं डाले उसको नेशनल असम्बली ऑफ पाकिस्तान तक वहाँ पे तहफ दिया जाए the government of Pakistan says these lawmakers have been bribed. It says they've quote-unquote sold their souls for money. It has accused them of horse trading and vowed to tra take strong action against them. Sir, opposition so what kind of strong action is the PTI mulling? We don't know, but the opposition says PTI is planning to raid the Sindh house and take these lawmakers hostage. One such raid, in fact, in fact took place this evening. Some PTI workers tried breaking into the Sindh house. The Pakistan government has said that it did not send them. It has also promised to punish them. The opposition says the government is lying. Look at this post from Bilawal Bhutto Zardari. He says, these dissidents are being threatened with violence, arrest and dire consequences. He says the lives, their lives and the liberty of their families are also under threat. As the war of words escalates, the Human Rights Watch has also issued a warning. It says Pakistan's democratic institutions are facing a threat and that the no confidence vote has set the stage for a violent confrontation. Well, such are the fears of violence that a cricket match scheduled between Pakistan and Australia, which was supposed to be held in Rawalpindi, has now been moved to Lahore. The Interior Minister of Pakistan says this has been done in light of the recent political activities, quote-unquote. Deciding today that the respectable and honourable Australian team, we have given them presidential security. And the presidential security has its certain requirements. And for that security which we give head of the state, which we have given to Australian team, that's why the four matches we have shifted to Lahore, because here there are political activities. So PTI leaders have broken ranks. The opposition says there could be violence. Global bodies are predicting turmoil. Cricket matches are being rescheduled. Where is all this headed? Only three days are left for the no-confidence motion. The final vote will be held on Monday, that is the 21st of March. The opposition needs 172 votes to dethrone Imran Khan. 172, that's the magic number. How many seats does the opposition have right now? 62. How many seats does Imran Khan's party, the PTI, have? 177. How many PTI lawmakers are planning to vote against the Prime Minister? 24. That's way more than what the opposition needs. Do the math. Simply put, on the 21st of March, Imran Khan's tenure as Pakistan's Prime Minister could come to an end. Three days is all he has to whip up 
a miracle. Vion is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.